Cold winter nights are perfect for my hearty bison chili. So let's get to it. And here's all the ingredients you'll need for my bison chili. Okay. A half an onion diced. Five cloves of garlic peeled and chopped. Two serranos chopped finely. You can also use jalapenos or omit all together if you don't like it spicy. But if you don't add the peppers, I would recommend adding extra salt and pepper. One pound of ground bison. You can find this almost everywhere now, including Costco. Sea salt to taste and a half a tablespoon of cumin. One 14 and a half or 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes. Two 15 ounce cans of kidney beans drained. One cup of chicken stock or homemade bone broth. And for optional toppings, Add grated cheddar cheese and sour cream. So we're just going to add a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Add our onions and serranos. Add our garlic. You're going to want to cook these onions, peppers, and garlic in two tablespoons of olive oil over a medium heat until these onions become really soft. Now you're going to add your one pound of bison. And here, you just want to add your sea salt to taste, what you think might be good. I just throw a few rounds of that in, and your half a tablespoon of cumin. And you want to brown your meat, um, but you just want to cook it maybe halfway, because it's going to continue to cook. When you add all the other ingredients, you're going to be cooking it for a while. So really just want to brown this up a little bit. You don't need to cook it all the way through at this stage. So this is how I like my meat to look. You can see some of it's brown, but it's still a little pink. That's how you want it when you add your kidney beans. Your diced tomatoes. and a one cup of chicken stock or bone broth. Then you're going to mix that all together. So at this point, all the ingredients are in our chili. We're going to increase the heat to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, we're going to reduce it down to a simmer for 30 minutes with the top off and that will help to thicken up the chili and reduce it down and get rid of a lot of that extra liquid. All right, Shane, what do you think? Hmm, another bite. A little hot. Very hot, but that bison is cooked perfect. It is so good. Cheers.
Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Steph's Cooking Channel. And to download all my recipes, go to Steph's Cooking Channel.com. And don't forget, it's Steph with an F.